so welcome to this night log. I decided to do this log to talk about some thoughts that have been going on in my mind. So the first thought that is going on in my mind, I wanted to talk about the three last covers I made. I'm quite satisfied satisfied with them because most of the time I'm not satisfied with my covers because I realized that all the time I was trying to be someone else like making my voice higher but it already is high and I realized that I was not being myself I was always focusing on perfection and not on being myself so I started feeling more confident confident in front of the camera and I started um, singing with my heart instead of with all this nervous anxiety that I was having. So, and I realized that this was actually the boy best voice, the best voice I can get, because I was always trying to push something out, and you can't push when you sing. So that's the one thing. But I'm quite satisfied with my last cows. But the only two things I'm not sat satisfied with is that my hair is really messy again and that I think I turned down, turned up the music and it's like you can hardly hear my voice, like you can still hear it but the music is quite loud so yeah, but I'm still satisfied with them so I posted these two covers on Instagram and TikTok I checked Paul Anka and Neil Sedeke again but sadly they didn't see it but I do believe in God that when the time comes they are going to see it so I'm just going to continue tagging them making covers and hopefully one day they are going to see it because I'm not going to give up and yeah so another thing I wanted to mention if you are a Neil Sedeka fan Neil Sedeka's birthday was on the 13th of March and yeah, he turned 82, which is amazing. He's still alive. He's my idol. And the thing I really freaked out about, I saw a video of Neil Sedeka on his YouTube channel where he was doing one of his mini concerts. They always make me really happy when I watch him. And he said he had Corona, free COVID, yeah, Corona, you know. He had it three weeks and he survived like, oh my goodness, I was always so scared that he's going to become sick and he's going to die, but he did survive it. I was like, oh my goodness, thanks God. I can't believe it. So I'm so happy that he survived. So before we continue to the next topic, I wanted to mention I was really shocked when I saw Paul Anka posting on his accounts on social media that he was doing a free concert an online stream I was shocked like free oh my goodness but I didn't go there sadly I don't know why but you had to reg register and you could like watch him for free live somewhere not really live but a live stream you know like watching a live stream so the next thing I want to talk about is about manifestation and the law of attraction so it's this means that if you imagine things in your mind and you really feel them, they are going to happen, which is proof because I tried this myself, I was shocked. I tried several times to manifest something and it really happened because I believed in it. I tried to feel it. So if you do believe in it, it is going to happen if you just imagine it in your mind. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is about the dreams that I had some dreams about Polenka I dreamt a few times about him I already talked about Polenka but today I want to talk about the dream I had about Neil Sedeka like oh my goodness so I dreamed that I was in a big place it was a sunny place it was maybe in Los Angeles maybe on another part of the world so I was I knew that he was coming and I was there with my mom and I was waiting for Neil Sedeka to come and then he came and he went to me and said do you mind if you put down if you could put down the blinds because there was some type of window but at the same time we were outside which was strange and I kind of felt that he was kind of unfriendly to me first but yeah I put them down the blinds you know and then he went away and the next part 
of the dream was where well, I was in a room again, Neil Sedeker was there, and I went to him and I said, oh my god, sorry that I was so shy because I was kind of shy. And I said like, I was shy because I really love you. That's what I said, oh my god. So yeah, you don't want to know what happened next. So the next topic that I want to talk about is that I can see the future in my dreams. I mentioned this in some of my other videos. Like, I can see the future in my dreams, which is strange scary and like a few days ago I had a dream a bad dream I woke up I dreamt that I got a bad grade and I was feeling really scared and horrible of that dream and then it really happened in real life so this dream was a warning and I was really feeling horrible after this dream so I have a rare gift and another rare gift I probably I don't know if it's strange but sometimes I feel like I can feel energies around me, bad or good ones. And like I also, s often I have the feeling that spirits are around me. If you do believe in ghosts, because I do. So yeah, that was the thing I want to talk about. And the next thing I really, really have in my mind is about our world, our people and humanity. So I think all the time like... You should like always do the things you love because other, even if other people are negative about it, bad about it, they like, they say like you're never going to achieve it. Just just don't care. Like I just don't care about negative people anymore, and I just do what I love. Even if you love doing something and someone says, but you're too old. Like you're never too old. Like do some do the things you love. Just don't care about negative people. Just don't be a people pleaser. Like some people are because successful and rich people do what they love they are not people pleasers they don't care what people say that's why they're successful and i'm like we are all going to die one day like why are we why should we listen to other people saying negative things about you like you're going to die one day like please do what you love just don't care about what other people think what society thinks it's strange, why do we do that? Like, yeah, but it's really sad to see this world sometimes. There are people that judge. There are people that hate you for no reason. Like, it makes me sad. I just wanted to mention it. So, I think there's some things I haven't mentioned yet. Since I love writing and manifesting and writing down my goals, and I believe in manifestation, I wanted to show some two things I did, DIY stuff. So, this was a dictionary I did, uh, I think it was in 2019, five, six, seven months ago. I decided to do an Italian dictionary myself and that's the back side. Because we were going to Italy so I thought I'd learn some Italian. I wrote down some Italian phrases, you know. And yeah, second thing I did today, I decided to do my own notebook notebook so I designed this today as you can see that's me right here in emoji bitmoji type and I just took some stickers that I wanted to take and this is the back side a Polaroid camera I just really wanted to take this because it wasn't the recom recommend recommended and this is the inside of it I took a picture so I printed this in 1200 dpi dots per inches and this the funny thing is I did not know that you can actually change the quality of the I mean the, uh, make a higher quality but like I printed the higher quality and it was going so slow and it was really annoying because I had to wait long but the other good thing is that it wasn't as loud because printers are mostly loud but if if you're printing in a high quality it goes so slow and it's so calm but if you're printing in a lower quality the printer is like going so fast and so loud that's what I hate the most so the picture is much clearer if I print in higher quality like a photograph which really satisfies me so yeah another thing I wanted to talk about was probably 
origami I think yeah so I mostly do origami on on special holidays I love doing doing it many people on YouTube make videos about it so I think the last thing yeah that's probably the last thing on my mind but if I forget something I'm going to talk about it in my other vlogs the last thing I wanted to talk about the thing that really annoys me is that people live live either either in the future or in the past because like you can't you can't just take the past and you can't just bring it back like or you can't see what the future brings like and people still live there they're trying to live in the future or trying to live in the past you can't get that back like why can't you live in the present like live in the moment don't waste your life because you're wasting your life all the time when you're always trying to live in the past or future like it's really sad so back to this video I decided to talk about some other things that I have in my mind one of them is I thought I could talk about my childhood why not because in French we have been writing a text about our childhood, in French of course. So I thought I'd talk about some things that are popping up in my mind over and over again. And the first thing is that I used to make this paper bags, you know, out of paper. And I used to put some money in it, that's what I remember. I also remember what I did when I was at my grandma's. I played, I played in the sand with some things, I also in winter, she had a sleigh, you know, this thing where you can ride, and so she had a hill, it was, and I was always driving up there in winter. Another thing I remember is that my grandma showed me her old bikes that were standing somewhere, and I also always remember my grandma used to lock up all the rooms with the old stuff in there and yeah so I remember a lot of things from the past I also remember that my grandma had been growing currants which are these black red berries they are really tasty and she also had yeah she had this small how do you call it you know and I loved spending time in the garden as long as I can remember. And I always remember that my grandma tried to save lights because it was it wasn't really dark, but she like always tried to save lights uh, in the toilet room. She didn't have a bath, I don't know why. But yeah, she had a toilet of course. And she always told me not to turn on the lights. She tried to save them. So yeah, it feels really weird talking about the past. I kind of feel that I, I'm again experiencing it. It kind of scares me, but I decided to talk about it. So the next thing I also want to mention is, I, of course she had dolls. I played with old dolls. I loved playing with them. And yeah, she also loved to sew things. She made clothes for the dolls. I remember that. Now I know why I can also really sew great things. Because my grandmothers were both great sewers. And to be honest, I'm really scared right now. I feel like she's still here. As, as I said, I can feel spirits, I think. And it feels really weird and kind of scary. But I think I'm still going to go and continue talking so the next thing I want to talk about is when I first started making videos it was a long long time ago when I got my Christmas camera when I was like seven eight years old I already had a camera I got one I started making videos about reading in the Bible or like how do you call it i also sang at that time already i was five six seven years old i sang on camera i mostly sang christian songs about god you know i had those videos on my computer but the sad thing is i don't have them anymore because the computer got updated 
So I kind I'm kind of sad that I lost them. But yeah. So I also remember filming on my first black phone. It was a little black phone. I remember making home movies. I don't know where the black phone is now. But I made home movies. I was walking around the house. I was talking about some rooms. I showed the rooms. I was filming my mom even. I showed them at my old school, at my first school, you know, primary school, I think it's called. And then the teacher came and she saw the phone and she said to take it away. I was showing some of my friends, old classmates, the videos that I made when I was like 10, 11. I don't know what the phone is, as I said before. Maybe the videos are still on it. I'm not sure. But yeah, some of my covers are lost. The covers that I made for my YouTube channel, my old one, you know. Some of the early covers I made of the Beatles and of different types of other things. Because I wanted to download them from Red Karaoke, which was a karaoke app. But then I heard that the app is just gone because they couldn't pay something anymore and they just closed the app because n no one was really supporting them. So they closed the app and I wanted to download the videos but the app is already gone on the website. So back to the childhood memories with my time, spending my time with my grandma. I want to talk about some Christmas. I always used to go to her on Christmas because my parents were preparing the Christmas tree. They were preparing it and so that I didn't see that they were doing it. I always spent my time at grandma's and she had a little Christmas tree like it was this size and she never had a real tree. It was always a fake one. It was so small. So I used to spend time with her and like I remember I still have that box. It's a music box with some angels on it. It's the famous Silent Night, Holy Night or it was another song. I still have it. That's also a box from my grandma. It, it used to play music. It still does. It's not broken and there were mostly some cookies in it. So yeah and then I got home after that. My, mostly my dad picked me up at night when I was on Christmas Eve at my grandma's sitting next to that small Christmas tree then I got home and yeah I got some presents that was mostly the thing so now I wanna go to the next topic if I remember anything else I wanna talk about I'm of course going to mention it so the next topic I really want to talk about some camera problems like the most problems when I'm trying to make a cover are how am I going to place the camera or where am I going to place the camera uh, so that it doesn't fall you know and the next thing that always bothers me is if I always show a double chin I'm trying to film myself so that I don't look so fat you know and I sometimes see that I have a double chin, I hope you don't really see it now, I'm trying not to. And I made a new place to film, I made a phone stander by myself, I hanged it up there, I can show you if you want to. So that's how I filmed myself when I was standing with my full body. I filmed myself from up, kinda, up above. And I think that looks funny, but at the same time it looks okay. At least you don't see my double chin if I film myself from above. So yeah. So the other things that I wanted to mention are some of the sounds that I hate. Like the worst things I hate is when someone interrupts my videos. Like I'm trying to do a vlog, a video, you know. And my mom comes in or my dad comes in. And it's so annoying to wait until they go so that I continue. I can continue either editing my videos or continuing to make some other pieces, you know, to talk about. That's the most annoying thing. And the next thing I wanted to talk about, the two sounds that really get on my nerves are, is either a lawn mower, how do you call it, you know, to cut the grass off, or a vacuum cleaner. I completely hate this two, these two sounds the most of all. 
No, nothing else disturbs me most of the time, but only these these two sounds. Like it's unbearable, you know. And yeah, so another thing that is in my mind. Sorry that I'm fi filming vertical this time, because I mostly film in the YouTube format, which is horizontal. But now I film vertical. It's much more comfortable to place the phone and so that it doesn't fall off. And the last thing that is on my mind is, it's about the government, you know. You know, I sometimes feel that our world is a prison, you know, like that we're forced to do things and it's really sad to see our world like this. Like if the government wouldn't be like this or if people would just change the world, it would be better. But the problem with our world is that mostly it's our humans fault that it's so horrible because if we could be make the world a better place we would live a much better life for everyone and another thing i really wanted to mention i almost forgot it is that i think i don't really like buying things i mean rich people might think they are awesome because they buy really really expensive things but i think it like this way i think like this that if i make something by myself like my new notebook diary however you want to call it manifestation journal you know i made it by myself and i think yeah it's much better than buying something because nobody else will have the same thing because i made it myself so and if i buy a notebook i'm like someone else probably has the same and it's not that special so to me it's more special to do something by myself you know and yeah so another thing that is on my mind is about snakes and spiders i read an article today it's an old one i think it was an old one that there was a dog they got a dog a family got a dog dog that saved a girl's life because the girl the little baby was playing in a garden with the dog with the new dog you know and the dog just throw through has thrown her away really really far because he saw a snake and it was really poisonous like if the baby got bit by this snake it would have been dead already even it was a mulga snake how do you call it i'm not sure how do you say it in english yeah it was a mulga snake i think that was the name and if the dog would have not thrown away the baby it would have been dead because even an adult can die can die from this really poisonous snake type, you know. And then the mom came and took the baby and she was shocked to see that the dog actually saved the baby's life and the dog did not want to hurt the baby. So, but the dog got really unlucky because he was bitten by the snake and he was weak, really weak, a few days and the lady really was scared that the dog will not survive because she was really happy f for the savior of her daughter but then the great thing is that the dog did survive and yeah that's the end of the story so now let's head back to my personal thing you know so i do I am really scared of spiders if I see them in real life. If I see them on pictures or videos, I'm not really scared of them. But if I see them next to me, really big spider, I'm freaking out. I could never take it. If it's a small one, I'm even, I'm rarely scared of small ones. But if it's so big, there was once a really big spider behind my, behind this wall right here. A few years ago, it was so big and it freaked me out I was so scared and the thing is that big spiders my mom says since my dad has been traveling a lot my mom says maybe my dad brought some spiders home from Australia or I'm not sure because big spiders are really rare right here but I heard if you live in Australia the poisonous snakes are everywhere and the spiders are also everywhere so I don't want to go there because I'm scared of it I'm horrified of big spiders like um, oh my god so yeah so now probably the last part of my video because I have been making this video really long 
I still have some things in my mind I want to share with you from my life. So, I want to talk about my morning routine, mostly. When we have school, online school, I get up at 7.40, so... I started, and then I start listening to the meditations, or affirmations, you know, to reprogram my mind, because the problem with our, with most people is that they have a negative mind. From childhood, you are mostly programmed, you know, to think like they tell you to. You're being told that this is bad or you're bad and it all stays in your mind that's the problem and you might feel bad about yourself. So the solution to that is to reprogram your mind with affirmations. That's what I do because I want to think positively and differently. So I'm trying to listen to them every morning and every night when I sleep I turn it on, the affirmations, I go to bed and then I just let it play until the Wi-Fi will be turned off. And it also really works just like the law of attraction. I once was sleeping in the morning before school. I was listening to the affirmations with headphones on. I woke up, I was so happy with no reason because the affirmations just worked for me. So this was the last part of my video. I hope I didn't forget to mention anything because I'm going to end it here. Please feel free to write a comment if you have any questions or feedback. Bye!